So, uh, we're doing the stationary engine today. Now, I've got some good news. Now, at the moment, I want a trolley for it. And if you go online and buy a trolley, they're, they're stupid money. I mean, I can't believe how expensive some of them are. So I went on eBay and found a British sack barrow, yeah, which has uh, rotted away, literally rotted away. And all that's left is the cast iron parts. Well, I bid 26 pounds, and let me show you what I've got. So there's the first part of the sack barrow. Then I've got the stays for the sack barrow. Now I've got a set of nice cast iron wheels, look at them. With the uh, brackets, so I'm gonna have to adjust these because these are only half, so I'm gonna have to put a bit on these to make them fit right, but we can do that. So basically, it's gonna, I'm gonna turn it into sort of a wheelbarrow. So I still need some handles, and I just need a piece of wood that goes across, and then I'm gonna put some metal cast iron handles here, and then you can wheel it about. Uh, but that was well happy with them, 26 pounds. I think they look nice. So the plan at the minute is to paint the axle green, Lister green, because Listers are yellow and green, aren't they? So I'm going to do the axle green, the wheels yellow, the stays green, and then when I get handles, they'll be green as well. Because um, like I say, there is yellow on it, so I want to keep it sort of Lister colours. But now I just need a nice piece of wood to put it on. But yeah, so at the moment we're going to clean these wheels up to start off with. Um, but yeah, but at least we've got a trolley on the way now. And I was quite impressed, £26, bargain. So uh, let's see how we get on cleaning them up, because I'm going to red oxide them, then we're going to prime them, and then I'm going to paint them yellow, the wheels, and like I say, the axle is going to be the list of green. Um, I was going to do the wheels green, but I think the yellow might just, you know, it, I've got a lot of yellow paint, yeah. <laughs> I bought a tin of yellow paint just to write Lister on it. Uh, so I might as well use it up a bit. <laughs> All right, so let's see how we get on. So literally, at the minute, all I'm doing is rubbing the rust off, um, ready for red oxiding. Uh, I've done one of the wheels, and that's what it looked like previously. So a big difference, straight away. Um, I've only got three washers, I really need another one of those. Um, but we'll have to have a look, I might have one, it might be a different size, but we might have one. Uh, but yeah, so it'll look good when it's done. drill now to get the rust off. They look there just like that, don't they? Uh, I've re-drilled these because one of them was snapped off. Uh, so I thought I'd just replace them both while I was there. Um, so unfortunately, there's, there's one of the pins. But you can see it's, I don't know what's happened to that, but it's a piece missing. <laughs> and it snapped off. And the other one wasn't much better. But my granddad years ago used to keep everything. And when he died, I found a load of old bits in a toolbox, loads of old bolts, the oddments, yeah, and do you know what, these two are absolutely perfect. So, yeah, brilliant. You can see they're actually the same one. <laughs> so that was lucky, I've only got two as well. So that's worked out well, so Grandad did a good job there, years ago. Right, now I'm gonna red oxide, uh, and then we're gonna top coat. So these bits are gonna be green, um, the axle's going to be green and the wheels are going to be yellow. Because I think the time you get the trolley, you've got the yellow wheels, the green brackets underneath and the green handles. It'll look good with the yellow wheels because it, it's Lister, so, you know, I think the colour scheme will look quite good. So, there's one coat of paint. So, like I said, I haven't actually used much. Um, these are going to want two coats because uh, I've red oxide and it's quite a dark colour of zinc. Um, but, yeah, the only thing I didn't red oxide was this edge. Um, because I thought, well, when you run it around, it's going to scratch the paint off, and then you're going to see all the red come through. So I thought, well, I'll just leave. So I left that bit and didn't red oxide the edge. But, uh, but yeah, they want another coat, um, not to say, but uh, we've got loads of yellow paint. Now, these I'm going to do in the stationary colour green. Yeah, in these bits. And then they'll look all right, I think. I think they look good in the green. Then when I get a set of cast iron handles, I'll do them in the green as well. But like I say, list of yellow and green, so let's keep the colour code going. So there we have it, they're in a nice uh, fetching green. Look at that. So I don't think I'll have to recoat them. The green covers really, really well. But the yellow, I definitely need another coat. Um, I've got to paint this axle 
green. But um, I'm just using it at the minute. <laughs> it's a bit easy to paint the wheels at the moment. So uh, yeah, as soon as they're dry, I can give them one more coat. Oh, yeah. So there we go. Perfect. Just need some wood now. <laughs> So that's the wheels done and the brackets, that's all painted now and ready to go. Now, with the wood, my friend from where I work, um, he's actually got some really good bits of wood in his garage. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, I don't know if it's hardwood or something. Uh, and he's just cutting a piece off for me. So unfortunately I'm not gonna get those till Tuesday, but it's uh, really good of him to do that for me. So then as soon as I get that, we can uh, get the trolley built. So this is the wood. So that's basically how it's going to go. Well, from upside down. <laughs> yeah? So, I've just got to trim a bit of this side. A little bit on the edge here. Um, and I don't know about what I'm going to do with the front yet, how close it is or not. So we'll uh, work that out a bit. But that's generally the idea. Yeah, good, good. So I need to make some packing pieces for the hinges. Um, so I'm going to have to put another piece of metal under there just to raise that up so you can get the axle in. Um, so yeah, what, really, what metal are we going to use in that? Well, the rest of the old sack power. Look at that, just cut a piece off there. Roughly what's going to be going on, um, I'm going to get I think two wooden pickaxe handles. Uh, and bolt them in. But uh, this is not bolted together, this is just cut uh, perfectly. Uh, the axle's not on, nothing's connected, it's just held together by um, magic. Let's call it magic. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, at well, least we've got a vague idea now. That's sort of the idea we're going for. So, I've put a bit of uh, paint on the wood, quite well, sadly actually. Um, I think that looks a lot better. And I've been and got the bolts. Get those all coach bolts. Nice, aren't they? So, uh, yeah, we can start building it now. So that's a rough idea of uh, how it's gonna go. So if you're after any coach bolts or anything, go to Andrews in Spalding, Lincolnshire. Uh, They've got a good selection, all different sizes, widths, everything. Uh, really good, really good selection. So if you're after anything like that, go there. So there's one foot on. I'm going to paint these green afterwards. But I've got some pedi washers. I always like pedi washers. There we go. So there we go. That's all the way through. Um, I've just got to make a packing piece for here. I could have cut a piece in really, thinking about it, but... Uh, I think I'm going to make a packing piece. Um, and yeah, then I'm just going to put a small block in here to hold this end together and then put a bolt through just to strengthen it a bit more. And yeah, it's coming on. It's getting there. So uh, that's generally what it's going to look like. Um, I think I look all right. I've still got to make the packing pieces and I need to make a set of handles for it. Um, but yeah. Generally, that's what it's going to be like. Uh, good, I'm quite good at that. So what I'm going to do now is just make some packing pieces to lift this up a bit here. All right, so the um, metal I'm going to use is actually the bottom of the sack barrel. Um, it's good, thick, strong iron, that is. Um, I mean, if I don't use it for this, it's just going to end up on the scrap heap, to be honest, because uh, nobody else, I don't know anyone who'd want it, to be honest. <laughs> um, one of the bits is missing anyway. And, yeah, we might as upcycle, that's what we call it, isn't it? Upcycling. So, uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. So, I have to say, this uh, this metal is incredibly hard. It's like that proper old-fashioned uh, proper old fashioned metal. It's not like that modern-day rubbish we get now. This is, uh, yeah, <laughs> this, uh, this would take hundreds of years to rust away, I think. Right, let me show you what I'm doing. So I'm just drilling the holes through. So I've started off with a really small hole, then I've gone now to a bigger bit, and then I'm working my way up the bits. Yeah, until we get the right size. So uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. 
Oh, that's completely the wrong place. So there's my packing pieces. Um, so yeah, that'd be good, I think. Perfect. So let's get it bolted together. So to join them at this end, I was going to put a piece of wood across and then I realised this little piece I cut off the uh, sack barrow. Uh, originally it was sort of a, a, a bit that was up on here that covered the uh, wheels. Um, I thought that was a brilliant piece of uh, steel to uh, hold them together at that end. So uh, yeah, I think this is uh, coming on really well. I'm not really into woodworking and all that sort of thing. It normally doesn't go that well, <laughs> but I'm quite happy with this so far. So basically, I'm just putting a piece of wood, wood under, push it one side, put a bit higher in, push it the other side, put another bit in, until we're the same height as the trolley. Then we're gonna wiggle it onto the trolley. And then, these bits of wood are gonna come off. So how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna put, just, when it's on the trolley, just jam a piece in here like that, undo this, take this off, sand it, cut it, alter it, do everything I have to do, bolt it back in and drill the holes, and then do the same with the other side. Um, and as soon as that's done, uh, that'll be perfect. But getting on the trolleys is the hardest bit of the minute because it's heavy. But uh, I would use the higher, but it's uh, chucking it down with rain. Um, so, Dad's not here either, so we're just gonna uh, try and do it this way. Now, this is the hard bit, because now I'm gonna try and slide it across. Uh, so let's see how we get on. Well, it's on. Whew. That is heavy. <sighs> so it's not gonna sit as high as this, because um, I'm gonna trim this wood halfway. So this is only probably gonna be an inch from this wood, and it's quite, it's about a good two and a half at the minute. Um, I can always touch the wood up if I scratched it, but yeah, and then these are too long anyway, they just want trimming nice and sanding and painting properly. But we're getting there, we're getting there. So, I've taken one off, this is just temporary, this is not what I'm using. Now, this engine doesn't want to be that high off the trolley, yeah, because it's a bit too high at the minute. So, I've got this bit of wood here, I've just sanded it and cut it to length, and we'll cut it down the middle. So it'll be half each side. It only needs to cover the lugs because when you put a bit of wooden away, you can't ever give it an oil change. Um, I do need to touch up these as well, uh, but that's roughly where it's going to go on the trolley. Uh, if it goes close to the front end, the weight's on the wheels more, so it's easier to move it. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, get so, cut the bits of wood. Now, if you're wondering why I haven't painted this bit, it's because I've actually just run out. 100% run out, and I haven't got enough to do that little bit. So, um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. And then just bolt all the way through the trolley. So let me just undo them and take that out. So that's much better. Um, I've still gotta move it around and position it properly in that, but that's roughly how it's going. So I've drilled the holes. Um, oh, I've got a bit of a wall come out of there because I had the engine tipped up a little bit. Uh, now I've got these nice coach bolts, I'm just going to drop them in and bolt them in from the bottom. Perfect! Let's uh, get it done. So there we go, it's all bolted on. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think it's looking good. So, toying with the ideas for the handle now. Now, well, I've actually got this part of the sack barrow left. Um, you'd want grinding the edge, but a bit of me was tempted to, uh, you know, I know the handle's a bit low, but you're not wheeling it that far, are you? It's just moving it about, you know. Um, and this is strong, I mean, this, this is real proper, proper good stuff, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm tempted just to drill another hole in there, grind it all off, probably grind this edge off a bit, because it's a bit sharp on your hands paint it and bolt that on. Um, so the whole sack barrel would have been used apart from the two rusty and sacked off um, what you call it and those little bits there. 
but we'd have recycled pretty much the entire sack barrow if we used that. But yeah, I'm happy with it. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get the handle on, because that's what I think I'm going to do, because this is heavy, yeah? I mean, I've put, I've put the engine more to the wheels to counterbalance the weight, but I mean, this is real heavy. And I'm a bit worried about putting wood handles on, lift it, and it just snap. Um, I'm just thinking that that will not snap. That is proper, proper made. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to continue this tomorrow because it's uh, 8 o'clock at night now. I want to go and have a shower. I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning because I've already been to a, a Wensbury crew and back driving. So, uh, yeah. So it's now the next morning. Um, what I'm going to do, I've just marked it out, ignored that one, but uh, just got to drill a hole through there, drill a hole through there, and I'm going to use this as the handle. Now, I know it's not very big, but if I hold that on there, I don't know if that shows up, you know, I, I think that's good enough um, for what I'm going to use it for. The problem is if I put a big handle on, it's just, uh, well, it takes up so much room. I haven't got a lot of room in here as it is. Um, plus, this is hard. So what my idea of this is, because this is sort of sharp on the edge, where obviously it's to pick things up with. I'm just gonna blunt this edge. And then I was thinking I might wrap uh, that hairy string all around it, real close neck for a handle, so it's nice and soft when you pick it up. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is basically, that nut that I've put in there, I'm gonna take it out again, and then bolt it on like that. And I think that will do the job. So, like I said, we do it the same again, smaller drill bit, and then go to a larger drill bit again. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is going to need a lot of grinding off because you see where I've cut it and that. But yeah, so now my holes are drilled. Um, I've got to set on grinding all this, all these bits off. Yeah, it's a bit sharp, uh, and like I said, I'm just going to blunt this edge a little bit as well. So yeah, it should look alright when it's done. A bit of paint. So I've ground all the edges off, so there's no sharp edges anymore. Because it was a bit, I'll just give it a ground. Made that a bit flatter at the end. So I say, I think eventually, oh, I don't know yet, but I might put wrap, you know, that hairy string uh, all on here. Give that old look, and it's easy, you know, it's comfier on your hand. But um, but yeah. So like I say, I'm just going to red oxide it and rub it down. I'm just going to rub some of the rust off with a sander, and then I'm just going to uh, give it a quick red oxide. Well, there's kind of two choices on this. I can either go for the uh, yellow, which I've got about, I think about half a tin, so it would actually do it um, with a couple of coats. The state of the tin. Um, or I could do it in the stationary engine green. Now, a bit of me was tempted to do it in the yellow, mostly to use it up. Um, uh, <laughs> But uh, I think I'm going to be doing it in the green because you're going to be grabbing hold of the handle. Uh, if you've got dirty hands and it's yellow, it's just going to all come off on there all the time, isn't it? So um, I think green, I think that'd be good then. And then I can wheel it outside and uh, start it up. And hopefully it should still all run good because I haven't actually run it uh, yet. Not since I've put it on there. There we go, there's the handle on. I think it looks all right. Good. Done. Quite happy with that myself. Yeah. I think we've done really well. This is all that's left. Um, and literally, you can see this was years ago how it was handmade. Look at that. Um, like I say, it's a shame really that you have to put bits up on it, but at least it's gone to uh, do a new job now. It's better than throwing it down the scrapyard anyway. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, never made a barrow before. Not an engine trolley, barrow, whatever you want to call it. I've, Never made one before in my life. Um, but I want to say a thanks to Alan who gave me the wood for it. Uh, so cheers, Alan. And um, 
yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with that. Come out, to be honest, it, didn't, it hasn't really taken me long to do it. It's been quite an easy project. Um, because it ran already when I got it, it just needed a bit of tuning and tidying up and a bit of just, I don't know, a bit of tender loving care, as they'd say. But uh, yeah, the trolley's all right. Like I say, I was going to put the wooden handles on originally, but um, that bit of sack bar is strong, you know. It's proper, and it's not that bad to wheel it about. And I mean, I only want it so I can just, you know, wheel it in and out of the garage or whatever. And I'm not showing it or anything. I'm just, I've just done it up because I fancied it, really. It's quite a cool thing to do, you know. Never done a stationary engine before. So, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there's still the lawnmower to do. We haven't even started on that one yet. Um, and that's if we don't buy anything else project-wise on the way. Uh, so... Uh, until next time, I'll see you all later.